All right, we got Matt out here doing a little work on the truck. Uh, he took it upon himself to clean it out. We had to replace the batteries on it today. This thing is a 2008, got 50,000 miles, and we've already had to replace both batteries on it. So he uh, he did that and um, just took it upon himself to do some cleaning up. So anyway, we're gonna uh, do a little bit of work on the on the Mustang tonight. We uh, let me turn the lights on over here. Went to the Mustang shop today and got some more shims and um, these little cage nuts uh, right here that go in the rocker panel. This Whoever had these on here last just had the regular um, little, G, whatever these are called, I'm not sure what they're called, a little J, I call them J nuts, I don't know if that's what they're called or not. but. Anyway, we're going to pull the fenders off and uh, we're going to work on that bow on the hood and um, see if we can get a little bit more progress done. So we'll come back and show you what we're doing in a little bit. All right, well, we've got our uh, cage nuts installed down there on both sides. They they actually were missing on both sides, so we got that taken care of. And Rob uh, Raz D4 Meta is going to kill me for this. He kind of advised against doing this, but um, just looking at it and this outer... Uh, ledge here and the way the the body line worked it just made a perfect little uh, slot to uh, put these two pieces of angle iron on and clamp them down on both sides of the bow to, to bring it in straight so it was definitely bowed and just a little bit of pressure with the, the clamp there on both pieces of the angle brought it up into line where we were where we wanted it and uh, got Matt out here he's uh, helping us out caught him off guard he is not prepared with anything to say, but uh, I normally. huh? I normally. <laughs> Any uh, what you think about what we're doing here so far, bud? Um, this is your master plan, not mine. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we're going to do the other side, and then we're going to put the fenders back on, and see what it looks like. All right. Well, we got our little rigged up fixture on this side. This was really the bad side. We got a few more clamps on it, and it, it really just worked extremely well in terms of just pulling that edge to a flat um, you know to a, just flatten it all out it was it was definitely wavy looked like a, a roller coaster ride going down through there but it, it pulled it down nicely so I'm gonna leave the clamps on there for a little bit hopefully uh, to let it <clears throat> kind of settle in there uh, maybe for an hour and then we'll pull it back off put the fenders back on and see what we got what's up fellas all right we got Matt and Reese out here um, and we showed you what the uh, springs did to the hood, uh, how stiff they were. So we're got a little bit of, you know, I'm originally from Alabama and live in Texas now. And, you know, we got a little bit of redneck in us uh, here in the south. So doing a little pre-stretch on these springs. And you can see we've got a, I don't know, it's maybe a one-inch diameter pry bar that's solid. And even with the springs, not even starting to get pressure on them there uh, they're putting a little bit of a bend in that bar so anyway we're gonna do a little pre-stretch on them maybe heat them up just a little bit and see if we can soften them up and make them work but we so anyway just wanted to show you guys this while we're waiting on that to set in a little bit we'll come back and show you a little bit more later on what's up Reese Thank you much. hey buddy <laughs> All right, well, I think we've got it just about as close as we're going to get it, and uh, we're going to call it good and move on. Tomorrow night we'll come out and bolt up the front sheet metal, the front balance and all that, and uh, see what it needs to get fitted up correctly. So, you know, the gaps, uh, again, this, this one matches up pretty good. It's got a good gap there, good gap up top. The, this side of the hood, it's got a pretty good gap all the way down. This side of the hood, pretty good. Starts to pinch just a little bit down at the end here, you know. But it's it's pretty subtle. I, I, I just me and Matt's been working on it. We can't get any closer than that. And uh, this gap over here is good, tucked in nice, um, fitting pretty good. So the only one issue we have is back here. This this front end somehow is definitely out of square, or the combination of this reproduction. Uh, hood and the reproduction cow 
you know, because the cow really won't, really should sit like this in here, and you can see it opens a big gap, and then there's a narrow gap up there. So we'll deal with this later, keep it like that, and make some kind of an adjustment up here. Don't know what it's going to be, but we'll figure that out. <laughs> Anything? You want to sum it up? All right, Matt, uh, so man, a few words, much like the great philosophers. All right, that'll be a wrap for tonight. Thanks, guys.